Hey Space Nerds, my name is Anthony England. I am the creator of Tiny Space Academy. Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to get to the moon. Um, I had a request on Discord on how to do that. Uh, this is version 1.12.02. Uh, so this is the latest version uh, as of today. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of new features that have been implemented in this latest version. All right, let's get to it. I'm starting with a sandbox game. Just call it Moon One. So I'm going to just create a quick rocket that can get to the moon and land on the moon. So I do a capsule. Uh, let's do decoupler. Uh, I'm going to grab a parachute for the capsule. So I have a way to get back. Uh, I'm going to do a medium size or a small fuel tank. Uh, let's get some landing gear. Like that. And then I can press Alt to duplicate. We want to mirror that, so I'm going to go to my editor tools, mirror, attach that to the side. So I have my lander. Um, since this is uh, the uh, sandbox, I'm going to use the more powerful thruster. It's overkill for a moon landing, but it's be easy to get there. Um, let's go ahead and get our booster. So this right here is just to land on the moon and get off the moon and back to Earth. Let's get a small booster just to kind of get, once we're in Earth's orbit, we can kind of maneuver and get to the moon. And then I'm going to just get a rocket just to get us into orbit here. Nothing fancy, just something super simple. Uh, we'll do some arrow. Uh, where are ya? Yeah, here we go. Do a arrow cap. And then a couple of T2 small rocket engines. You really don't need to go bigger for something this small. Um, and we'll just drag everything closer to the platform so it doesn't crash. Uh, let's take a look at our staging. Where was that? There we go. So we have our decoupler. The parachute can actually go above this guy. There we go. So parachute, decoupler, decoupler, and decoupler. All right. Um, let's just add a solar panel just for precaution in case my uh, I lose power. All right, I think we are good to go. So here is my rocket that will go to Earth's orbit and then I will use the second stage to get the lander to the moon surface and then uh, the fuel tank on the upper uh, lander should be enough to get back to Earth. All right, let's hit it. Pressing shift to increase max thrust. I'm gonna zoom out real quick just to look at my uh, apogee so I can circleize my orbit better. I'm gonna rotate my rocket to the left a little bit. I'm gonna decrease my thrust since my apogee is outside the Earth's atmosphere. I'm going to wait until I get close to apogee and then I'm going to increase thrust again. I should be running out of fuel here in just a second. Yep, just ran out of fuel on that first stage. So I'm going to press spacebar to release the next stage. So now I have my second stage. I have a orbit around Earth. And now I uh, want to plan my rendezvous with the moon. So one of the new features I've added in the more recent updates is you can now click on um, individual planets and moons to select which one you want to travel to and uh, what's nice about this is I now have kind of a makeshift uh, rendezvous um, so when the orbit line your orbit line crosses path with the planet it will give you an indication of where it will happen 
So I'm going to speed up gameplay a little bit because right now I'm already past the moon. I can't really rendezvous from right here. So I need to go to the opposite side. Probably right about here. And then I'm going to increase thrust a little bit. Doesn't need a lot. And I may actually undershoot this because the moon is also traveling around the earth too. So I am probably need to adjust that quite a bit. There you go. So as you can see here now, I have a little green dot on the Earth's uh, or on the Moon's orbit. This is where I will technically rendezvous with the uh, Moon. That being said, um, I will enter the Moon's gravity well way before then. So this is not a super accurate way to like plan your rendezvous, but it's good enough to basically, if you're trying to go to Saturn or someplace else, just to try to like estimate where your uh, alignment will be. All right, I'm going to rotate my ship because once I am in the moon's gravity well, I will want to um, get captured by the moon. So I'm going to just increase time a little bit. All right, so luckily I was automatically captured, but right now I have a intercept course with the moon's surface a little bit earlier than I planned. So I'm going to adjust my orbit a little bit so that I don't crash into the moon. And this is using that second stage still. And right now I just want to circularize my orbit around the moon. All right, I have a decent orbit uh, around the moon. I can, I can either A, use the rest of the fuel in this tank here to, um, to slow me down, or I can just abandon it. I think I will use the rest of the fuel and then um, prepare for my landing. So another uh, tool that I've added to the toolbar, this isn't new, but in case of those people who don't know, you have your auto zoom. So if you click on your auto zoom, it will automatically zoom your rocket into the surface um, as you get closer. It will help you, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, zooming while you're trying to land. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase my thrust, which will slow down my orbit, as you can see here. So right now I have an intercept course with the moon surface. I'm going to probably press L to lower the landing gear. And I am playing on a PC, by the way, so for you mobile people, it's slightly different. I've disconnected my uh, second stage. I now have my lander. And I don't want to go below like 30 ms. And here you go. I will quickly do an EVA, plant my flag like always. Press F, jump back in. All right, I've landed on the moon, planted my flag. Now I want to return home. So the moon is going um, count is going counterclockwise to uh, Earth, right? So I would like to plan my departure on this side of the uh, of the uh, gravity well out of the moon because I will be counteracting the speed of the moon. And which would mean I would uh, probably automatically just land into the uh, planet Earth. So let's go ahead and get going on that. Thrust, I'm gonna zoom out just so I can watch my um, orbit path. And I have a circularized orbit. Now I just wanna kind of exit the uh, moon's gravity well. So I'm going to increase thrust. I have my green uh, orbit indicator. So once I exit, I will follow this green path. Now, since the moon is still traveling, this will change slightly, um, but it looks like we may even have a good rendezvous back at the uh, Space Center. So I'm gonna increase speed a little bit, just so I can, uh, game speed so I can hurry this along. All right, about to exit the moon gravity well. And for the fun of it, I might just try to land on the at the Space Center. So I'm increasing my orbit a little bit so you can see my rendezvous. The atmosphere will slow me down a little bit, so I'm going to go a little bit beyond the space center that is currently right there. And then let's go ahead and increase game speed. And as you can see, I have plenty of fuel left, but I don't need it. I'm going to ditch that. And then I will space bar to uh, do my last stage, which is the parachute. And we are back on Earth. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on how to get to the moon and back. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. It does help. Um, I know I haven't made that many videos lately, but uh, as I get requests on how to do stuff, I will gladly make uh, improvements. Um, I, some of you guys are still active in Discord, and I do appreciate that. I uh, I just recently moved back from um, moved to California by, uh, from Washington, so I am settled in and ready to uh, maybe get back into game development. All right, take care. Talk to you later. Bye.